Oh my god! Look at how much this has shrunk. In today's video, I'm going to be decluttering loose pigments, gel pigments, liquid eyeshadows, liquid liners, you name it, all the little bits and pieces, anything in a pot, etc. Because it's probably going to be a longer kind of video. What you're seeing here is probably like 50% of what else is around here. And there's also more in my drawers. So let's just jump right into it. I'm probably gonna try to do it a little bit by brand. This is not going to be an extreme declutter by any means. I'm not trying to get like rid of any specific amount or like even 50%, but I am going to be definitely decluttering quite a few of these products. I've been already kind of thinking about it, so I kind of already know going into it what I have in mind. So let's just jump right into it. First up, we have almost all of my Carla Cosmetics things. I think there's one pressed eyeshadow and one more of these uh, fixed potions that's like a black based multi-chrome. These unfortunately dry out and I would say if you want to grab any of these, either you will have to really be committed to using them a lot and or be okay with having to revive them a little bit. I was able to revive these quite a few times with just some distilled water. I really am tempted to just add water into these one more time, but honestly, like I think I've done it at least two times now. There's one more shade I have like this. I love this formula, like absolutely love it. It's just such a shame that it's in a pot. I think I'm going to keep this aside, try to revive it one last time and then call it a day afterwards. But also on that note, I did end up purchasing myself. I was gifted quite a bit of these. I think for the most part, majority of these were gifted to me. Some of them I purchased and all these gels that are iridescent, I did purchase myself. And again, these are something I would recommend getting two at most at a time. They do recommend keeping them in the fridge to prevent them from drying out. The thing is, if I put these in the fridge, I'm going to completely forget about it. So I'm just not going to do that. I wanted to get these iridescent shades because I think they are just so versatile in general. They're also less expensive than the black-based versions. And I just think you can do so much more with these. So if I would recommend any of the gels, I would definitely say try the uh, iridescent shades. This shade is called Candlelight. This one is so so cool i mean look at that it is such a fun interesting kind of color it reminds me of good day from uh glamitrix cosmetics from there i forget the name of that palette but in gel form and then there's insomnia so some of these are versions of their pressed and or loose counterparts so here's insomnia also would like to mention for the first time ever of all time, I got charged taxes and fees by UPS for delivery, and I've never, ever, ever, ever had that happen, shipping to the US from the UK, from anywhere in Europe, and they weren't able to find a reason why I got charged. Nevertheless, I had to pay $35, so if and when I do order from them in the future, it will be off of Camera Ready Cosmetics. Unfortunately, they don't have all of their products on there, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I really want to avoid any more fees, especially because there's not really anything I can do in the moment besides if I want my products, I just have to pay the fee. And I know it's an extremely common thing in EU. And honestly, if this was a common thing in the US, I would probably not be buying from international any brands either. So I totally get it and it sucks, but there's not really anything I can do about it. I can't really fault Carla Cosmetics for that because it's out of their hands. So in that order, I did order the new highlighters for Black Friday as well as the highlighters were bundled with new shades that are coming soon I think in 2024 I believe one of those shades is here happy bunny so I'm assuming this is gonna be probably a some sort of uh, spring shade to launch and it looks super super cool I can't wait to use this one stay tuned for a reels video I do have dedicated videos on the two gels as well as majority of these not all of these though but I have these swatched at some point on my channel with the exception of some of the newer things like these and then some of the newer shades as well so they have quite a bit of a variety not all of these are multi-chromes the good thing about loose pigments is they will never expire like they're just pigments so you can really have these for as long as you need and I think a little goes a long way some of the loose pigments just really have a very particular look to them that you just cannot really achieve with a pressed eyeshadow because there are actually some loose pigments that are just like you can't really press them they will just not look the same so I do like having these for just fun and to play around with and also I love their fixed potion especially with these I like to mix it in and avoid any kind of fallout so that is super helpful to have so I will be keeping all of these almost forgot about this one this is their new um, shadow potion 
pink. This is like a liquid matte shadow, so it does completely dry down. Great for layering, so I'm obviously keeping that. I did just get that sent in PR recently. Next up, I have a bunch of about face eye paints. I did purchase most of these. There's, I think, about five shades that were gifted to me at some point. Um, I also have the glaze, and then this is the fractal little like sparkly kind of shade and then all of these mattes these are very interesting because not all of them have the same consistency and the same level of pigmentation some of them are a little more watery and a little less pigmented than others so like i feel like they're a little bit iffy that being said these wear really really great on me and i actually really wish i had some more kind of neutral shades of these because I think they will be nice for like kind of one and done, put a shimmer on top. That being said, I like all these. I'm going to be keeping all of these. So this one was quick and easy. Except for some miscellaneous kind of jelly-like pigments or chromey kind of flakes. So I actually have some other shades from Unearthly that are probably going to be a little bit later on. But these are the smoother shades, I believe. Yes, yeah, so these are kind of the um, black-based, uh, essentially gel forms and and i already know that these are yep a little bit hardened i'm not 100 percent sure if i can revive these with some water but i could try but honestly i don't really like i just i don't really use black base multichromes anymore so i don't really see like myself reaching for these i think i reviewed them and i like them but i just never really reach for them again these are fun for liners etc or just as eyeshadow but again like get one or two max especially with the black base shades unless you do a lot of like wings and stuff then it might be worth it for you but otherwise i would recommend more the iridescent types of multi-chrome so i'm going to be decluttering all those and i did purchase those myself next up are these oh my god i think it's a reza beauty and i bought these and these are gorgeous okay look at this one this shade star is absolutely stunning and this one's actually still wet it is so, so cool. I did do a dedicated video on these. I'm not really sure what's going on with the brand anymore. Um, they haven't really been posting or launching anything new, so I'm really unsure. This shade is so beautiful. Also a little bit shrunken for sure, but these are stunning. The formula is pretty decent, not like my favorite, but I'm going to be decluttering these because I'm not really sure what's going on with the brand. And then here is Touch of Glam Beauty Lucy Lemoner, and this is a gel pot. And this one dried out pretty quickly for me. I would have to try and see if I could revive it, but I'm just going to declutter it. And this one was sent to me, I believe. And then I have these two Bella Beauté Bar Gel Flakies, and these were Euphoria themed, so they have the names like Cat and Nate. I think there was one more for Jules. I'm not 100% sure. I think there was three. And these are pretty nice, but again, I just don't reach for these, so I'm going to be decluttering those. And then I have these Sugar Drizzle Flakies. I believe I was gifted these when they first came out. I believe I have a video on these and comparisons to Donessa Myricks, etc. I do prefer the Donessa Myricks formula to this. You have to be really, really light-handed with any sort of flakies like this, because otherwise it will just completely wrinkle your eyelids, and I just do not like that look on me. Look at this, so pretty. Okay, let's just swatch a couple of these. I'm just so tempted to keep these, but I just know that I'm not going to reach for them. But they are so, so beautiful. And they do have kind of like that dispersed kind of look. So it looks, it can look a little bit patchy. I definitely would say use these for like a specific kind of effect on the lips, etc. Actually, these might be fun on the lips. I think if anything, I would keep the iridescent shades. So I think I'm going to do that. So I think I'm going to keep Lightning Bolt and stars in heaven kind of some fun flaky iridescent shades this one is so tempting i just love this kind of purple shade oh should i keep this one i feel like i have so many of these kinds of shades this one's really beautiful too oh i don't know i think i already opened this one oh my gosh if i can't get this open oh it's so pretty this one for like a frosty kind of look i need to check if these are even still available on their website so i'm gonna put these two aside i'm gonna check if these are still available and if not i don't really want to use products um that are not available anymore and then oh i'm a mermaid that for sure fits i think i'm gonna declutter that one i found the other carla cosmetics shade this is snooze this is like a very common kind of shade of multi-chrome 
and yeah it's dried out so I'm gonna try to revive it for one last time and then otherwise I'm gonna let that one go so next up are all my pro glitz loose pigments and these were all gifted to me by the brand they are a UK based brand and and they have some really beautiful kind of shades I find that some of the textures vary a little bit some of these are really really smooth and then some of these are really really beautifully shiny there's this one shade I'm trying to see oh I think it was this one this is this shade this is the shade mysterious I do have a dedicated video on all of these. I believe I did two looks. It's probably been at least a couple years. This one just looks so interesting in the jar. I don't really think it's translating, but it is such a beautiful pigment. Let me just see if I can kind of dip my finger in there. Obviously, you need some sort of a tacky primer with it. So, yeah, it's not really going to translate. But anyways, this shade is really, really pretty, and it's not translating at all. But it is such an interesting shade. And this is one of the like less sparkly ones. And I am keeping all of these. I don't think any of these are like black base types of multichromes. I believe all of these are pretty much like some sort of very sheer iridescent or slightly pastel based uh, multichromes. Next up I have these multichrome liners from Unearthly Cosmetics. I love the packaging. Super cute. I did feature these in a video. I just don't use any sort of liner multi-chromes. I'm not really a liner girly, so so unfortunately I just don't really get enough use out of these. That being said, these are really nice and opaque as you can see. This one's not really that shifty, but it is really, really stunning. I think I'm going to keep this shade actually, but I definitely don't want to keep all of the shades. I just don't really think I gravitate towards some of these. Yeah, like this one. I'm just, I'm not going to use this one. This one is taboo. And then this one yeah I don't I'm not gonna use that one either if anything I want prefer the ones that are a little bit more poppy like I feel like this one doesn't match the label because I thought that they were supposed to kind of match I feel like that one's not really that shiny and metallic and then this is the other set of four the shade is tonic nah, I don't think I'm gonna keep that one and then potion Ooh, I think potion gonna be fun um yeah nah. I don't know, it actually matches my nail kind of. I think I'm not gonna keep that one. And then Amulet, Amulet. Ooh, this one's just like a really beautiful. And then last up is Jinx. This is essentially like, I think, uh, Smolder or something. Um, that one might be nice. I might keep that one. And that's all I'm gonna keep from all of these. I'm gonna declutter the rest. Next up are these duochrome liquid eyeshadows from ColourPop. I was so excited for these. Listen, I was uh, very excited to see ColourPop launching some potentially affordable multi-chromes. That being said, I had a feeling that these pigments are going to be very, very watered down to keep the cost low. And unfortunately, that is the case. I don't really like the formula. These are very patchy, very sheer. The only shades I think that are kind of okay are the shade Beetle. Like this is actually nice and pigmented. But I'm going to be decluttering the rest of these. And this one remains metallic. The problem is a lot of these, once they dry down, they're not metallic like at all, at all. They're just very satin-like. And at that point, I'm just like, no thank you. This shade is very interesting. Very neutral, very subtle. Maybe you like that. Maybe you don't want high, high shine. But this one definitely dries down to quite a bit of a matte finish. This actually shade kind of reminds me of that Kyla Cosmetic shade and the Good Day shade that I was just talking about. So I think I'm going to keep this one. Actually, it's really interesting. I'm going to keep this one. And I'm going to keep this iridescent shade glaze. And hmm, I think I might keep the green one too because it is kind of nice. But some of these other ones, I have a dedicated video on these. I don't know. I just I was not really impressed. I think, yes, it's nice if you just want to like try for like a pretty affordable price. I believe these are, I mean, I think like $12. So not really like that affordable. But I don't know. I just, I would not recommend these, honestly, even at that price, unless you can get them like deeply discounted just to try out. But I don't really feel like these are worth it, so I'm decluttering these. Next, I have these loose pigments from Bella Beauty Bar. I believe there was even more shades. This was, uh, this launched with the Pestle Garden palette, and I bought that palette. That was my first Bella Beauty Bar palette, and I bought these four pigments. I think there was like eight or six or something like that. And I just bought these four, and I'm keeping these. More liners from Unearthly Cosmetics. I actually have even more here. These are gel pots. I think it was one or two more, but it rolled down somewhere, so I'm gonna have to find it. Oh my god! Look at how much this has shrunk. Oh my god, it's so funny looking. Okay, I can't take it out. Um, 
I mean, I think it's still fine to use, but I don't know. I would have to use some sort of mixing medium, which, oh my God, this one shrunk too. Okay, so I'm I'm not keeping these. I did buy these myself. I thought those would be some great like kind of eyeshadow bases to use without like it being an eyeshadow base, obviously an eyeliner. But um, yeah, that's unfortunate. So these actually launched before the ones that I already swatched. And these are like more flaky and chunky. And I really don't like this applicator at all. It's just too kind of fragile. It's too long and flimsy. It doesn't really pick up a lot of product. Pretty, these are definitely more sparkly versus kind of like, meta I mean, they're metallic, but they're more sparkly because they are chunkier. I'm just going to declutter these. Except I have some drugstore uh, liquid multi-chrome. So these are the shade shifters from LA Girl. I believe these were, I honestly don't remember. I feel like these were pretty good. Definitely better than the ColourPop. Actually, were they better? Because it's kind of wiping away. I hate when it does that. There's been only some formulas that don't do that. Um, this shade is, I have a dedicated video on these. I honestly haven't used them since. See, like for some reason this green is always so, so pigmented. So that one is a good one, but I'm not going to use these. These are black Multi Multichromes. I bought them for the purpose of trying out a drugstore multi-chrome. So, ooh, this one's actually not bad. Look at that. I honestly do not remember <laughs> what I thought of them. It's been such a long time, but... They seem pretty nice. Obviously, they're going to dry down and they're going to lose a little bit of that shine, but these are not bad, I guess. I feel like I can kind of smell a little bit of like, they smell a little plasticky, but I think I'm just going to get rid of these because I don't remember last time I used these. And Physicians Formula decided to dip their toes in some diamond metallic mineral wear liquid eyeshadow, which is basically, I, I believe they marketed these as duochromes. It feels so cold. The shade reminds me of a shade from... Cleona Cosmetics. I believe it's either one of their hybrid multi-chromes or it was, uh, I can't remember, maybe the pastel. This shade looks actually really pretty, Beam of Blue. Yeah, but these are pretty dull. I mean, they're drugstore, they're duochrome. These are definitely not like fully multi-chromatic. So I don't know. I'm not keeping any of these. On the note of drugstore multi-chromes, these are from LA Girl. I did purchase them and then they sent them to me actually. And these are actually really, really nice. I believe you can get these for as low as like $6. They might be a little bit creasy. They are a little bit on the emollient side, but they're actually really nice and metallic for being drugstore. So really was happy to see that. They do need a little bit of layering. I definitely think a tacky primer would uh, be very beneficial. Uh, this one is so, so shifty. Really, really pretty. There was one shade that was more neutral leaning. It was kind of like a, like a purpley kind of neutral shade. I don't know where that one is. I just kind of threw everything into one bin, so I couldn't find it, but there was a fourth shade. I am going to be keeping these for sure. I could not get these liners off. They're like stuck to my skin. It's a little bit concerning because I did use like an oil-free remover that I use for pretty much everything. But anyways, I did try my best to clean my arms so we could do some more swatches. So these are the Duo Drops uh, for P. Louise, aka Multichrome slash Duochrome kind of gel drops. These were really weird because they kept separating. Oh my god, that looks so funny. This one looks really shifty. Wow. Okay, that one is like way dry. This is like a really beautiful green to purple blue kind of shifting shade. I don't know if I can revive these. But I don't know if I even want to bother. I was going to do a dedicated video on these because I was really curious to see these come out. This one's like separated by oil and kind of stuck to one side. Definitely not good anymore. I kind of want to revive the other one though because it looks really pretty. But oh my gosh, this one looks pretty dull and not very shiny. Definitely decluttering. I think I'm just going to declutter all of them. It is unfortunate. Definitely wish I could have tried them out. Next up I have these Fido Surgeons. Uh pot eyeshadows so I have fractal freesia lunar light wave and astral atmosphere I think astral atmosphere is my least favorite it looks so beautiful in the pan it's kind of hard pan and you can use a brush with it I haven't really just fell in love with it I feel like there's something about this formula that accentuates my skin texture. I think it's because of the texture of it. It's pretty thick feeling and the sparkles are very separated from it. So they're kind of just like all over the place. Uh, I just, I'm not really the biggest fan of this one in particular. I do like Fractal Freesia as just like an extra little kind of sparkle, same thing. The sparkle is very dispersed throughout. It's very much like a topper like shade, but I do prefer this one because there's not really much of a base. Um, but again, I feel like they kind of accentuate my skin texture a little bit. And then here is Lunar Light Wave. 
feel like that name sounds familiar. Isn't there a term when she that's this that's that's called this? So this one again has a little bit of base with a sparkle throughout it, but again, the sparkle just really kind of flakes off because once you actually apply it, it just kind of sits on top of the main pigment. So I don't love these. I want to kind of keep trying these out and just have them for reference. So I'm going to keep these around. Also, I found the other gel liner from Unearthly. This is Squash. And I believe this one, yeah, this one hasn't shrunk on at all. So I'm going to keep this one because also love the shade. So beautiful. And I also found the Carla Cosmetics only single press eyeshadow I have. The shade Neverland. This is actually the closest dupe to Cleona's World I've ever had. It is not exactly the same, but it is a little bit similar. Um, and it obviously needs at least another layer. I don't remember what happened. I think it might have broken or something but I did have to kind of repress it but it's quite pretty I'm gonna keep this one next I have these lethal cosmetics gel liners I used to have so many of these but this is exactly the reason why I decluttered majority of these I believe these came with uh, one of uh, Teresa is dead's collabs with them this shade is face so beautiful I mean they really knock out the park the formula is beautiful and everything but these just dry out like you have to be really quick to use them I don't really use eyeliners. This one actually seems still okay, but I'm going to declutter these. I'm probably never going to be buying or wanting these because they do dry out. I know that they have a mixing medium, but honestly, I'm just... I'm just not about that. That's just an extra step I don't need. Next up, I have these artifacts, and I feel like I've definitely talked about them in previous declutters that I've done like this in previous years. And these are just my special precious little babies, and I'm so sad that they don't make these anymore. I don't even think Topshop sells makeup at all. These are the closest formula, and by closest, I mean almost identical, allegedly, to the astral shades from Pat McGrath. These are just baked the same way they feel almost the same they look almost the same they are just absolutely stunning i would love to see some brand launch something like this i mean they're just so so beautiful i feel like it's not really translating but trust me they're really really stunning the shade is called shuffle the cards i think there was like one more of these kind of oh my god look at that it's so pretty and then i also have this iridescent this one's kind of hard pressed I don't really love this one, but I'm just keeping these as like little makeup artifacts. So I'm going to be keeping these, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them in my main collection. I do want to keep like a little uh, special box where I just put kind of nostalgic makeup that I just want to keep for those reasons. These are kind of what is a left from my water activated liners. Uh, these three were sent to me from Shelby Makeup and then I, and I bought this Suva Beauty Hydra Liner and Space Panna. I'm keeping these because, you know, they don't they're not gonna dry out they need to be activated with water so i feel like they're kind of like handy to have because you don't have to really feel like stressed out about oh are they gonna dry out are they gonna shrink etc so i think i'm gonna keep these around but i feel like i'm kind of all set with these i used to have so many so many different kinds of water activated liners and i just honestly they're like all the same formula and they're kind of a little bit tricky to use and they're not waterproof obviously and so Realistically speaking, I don't do too, too many kind of creative looks where I really have a reason to have a lot of these. So I feel like I'm all set with just keeping these. I do have some of these glitter kind of liner things. These are from Moira Cosmetics. These just look really, really pretty. So I did keep these. Actually, I do have more, but they're with all my flower no stuff. So I do have a bunch of those from their Swan collection, which are I'm not going to be showing in here. But I'm keeping these just for little accents here and there. The glitter pill from Half Magic Beauty. So they actually have a new version. Oh my. They have a new version of this one where it's a lot better formula because right now it's so liquidy and oh my gosh, wait, it's literally liquid in there. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to say this one is not, not good anymore. That thing is way too expensive. If you're going to buy glitter of any sort that's like this, just get something like kind of inexpensive from a reputable brand. So like Mora Cosmetics, for example, but... That one, I was not very happy with that. And also seeing that they reformulated it is like, okay, great. Well, now I'm stuck with the original version that I paid like, what, $13, $14 for? Next up, I have these flakies from Unearthly Cosmetics. These are like the other ones that I showed you, but these are flaky. So they're a bit on the chunky side. So here's, for example, what that looks like. And these are an okay formula, not like my absolute favorite. Again, you have to go in with a light hand, but I am going to be decluttering all of these. Here we have some Pamagrath Labs. So these two are like iridescent gels, 
And I'm just gonna keep these, these are kind of fun. I could use them as lip gloss, I can use them as eye gloss for just editorial kinds of looks. And then this was, uh, I believe, uh, I don't think it was last holiday, it was the holiday before. This was VR, and then I'm not gonna say that word just so that I'm not demonetized. I did do a whole video on this shade. I compared it to other multi-chromes. The shade actually kind of looks a little bit similar to the one from the Natasha Denona Mini Trio Chrome, but this is, <laughs> Oh my god, this is just like meh. I mean, it's okay. It's definitely not worth the money I bought it for science to do a video on so I am going to keep this one just to have for reference in case Pat McGrath comes out with any future like mothership palettes or something that might have something like this which you know like this is a little bit too colorful for a palette so probably not more drugstore kind of shifty top row like shade so these are liquid shadows from Juvis Place and then these were a collaboration with Profusion Jurassic World I was gonna do a dedicated video on these and I don't know what happened but I didn't end up doing that so I don't know if these are still available or not so I don't know they seem kind of nice though they're kind they're a little bit obviously sheer and you don't want to layer too much so I haven't really honestly tried these out too much besides swatching them so I don't really know honestly if I want to keep these these seem like they're okay like they're they're not really anything I would be like run out and buy this for sure because it's drugstore this this blue is pretty though that looks like a really beautiful shade I think I'm just gonna declutter these I don't see myself really having the time or wanting to spend the time to dedicate a video on these is probably too late anyways and then these Juvia's place shades are so pretty these are so sparkly these are really nice formula i really do like these this shade i mean this shade is so pretty i don't remember how much these are but i would say probably not more than 12 dollars and that was the shade Fula. i believe i have a reel with this one and then these are just like some nice kind of neutral leaning um, kinds of duochrome shades. I'm going to be keeping all these. Lethal Cosmetics Liquid Multi-Chrome Shifty Duochrome kind of shade. I think these were like okay-ish, but I was really not... I just feel like they were kind of expensive and I wasn't really in love with them. Ooh, this shade is actually really pretty. That one is a great kind of neutral shadow. Oh my gosh, I have not used these honestly since that video, I think. So I don't really feel like there's a point in me keeping these because I just, I know... I'm probably not going to use these and so I think there was like one more shade because I believe there was like two black base multi-chromes and then three of these kind of dual chromes and this is just like your typical kind of black base multi-chrome kind of shade and it's very like it dries down to not be very shiny I think I'm just gonna declutter all of these more half magic beauty this was when they first launched I wanted to try out like a sparkly shade and a matte shade so I have Sky Juice, which is such an interesting name. Such a really beautiful periwinkle. This is a pretty good formula. I don't really feel like I need to go and buy more of it, though. It's just not really my preference. But if you're a liquid eyeshadow kind of person, then you might enjoy these. And then this is like a really beautiful, like super cool toned purple shimmery shade. So I'm going to keep both of these. And I have these two from Kaima Cosmetics. This is like a liquid. Look at this packaging, though. It reminds me of, um, I can't remember the name. Uh, there's like a brand that has this kind of packaging almost uh it's not exactly the same it's a little bit like nicer and heavier and they have lipsticks in it but that is a really beautiful shade i did try this previously wasn't really a huge fan and then they had these flaky shades i believe these are their reformulated versions because the original versions were like literally gel in a compact they were just completely unusable and this one is really pretty i think i have one more shade somewhere but I just don't feel like I need to keep it. So I'm going to be decluttering that one. The one thing I can safely say I will not be purchasing in 2024 is any form of liquid shadow. With the exception if it's Natasha Denona or maybe Pat McGrath. Because I could definitely see Pat McGrath coming out with some liquid dual chrome multi-chrome shades. That might be a little bit interesting. So I would make the only exception for that just to review. But other than that, like anything else, I'm not interested. These are the Natasha Denona Chromium Liquid Eyeshadows. These are one of my favorite liquid formulas. These are just so beautiful. Some of these are a little bit dried out, just a little bit. But I'm going to keep these for reference and nostalgia reasons because I do really love those. And then I have these three, three She Glam Chromazone Liquid Eyeshadows. These were meh. I do have a video. I believe I also tried the um, eyeshadow palettes. And this was just like... I mean, it was okay. It took it took a lot of layering and it was not very shiny at all. I think there was one iridescent shade 
that was kind of like maybe oh maybe I'll keep that one just for highlighter purposes but I have so many so many versions of this are already in better formula so I'm just going to declutter these three and then I have this shade from cover FX. I don't remember I feel like I got gifted this through Octoly or something like many many years ago this is so beautiful I remember loving this and just like putting this on the lid and just tapping it out it was so pretty it's very very sparkly really really like this but honestly it's pretty old i think i'm just going to declutter it i don't even think that they make that anymore and then i have the essence luminous eye tan liquid eyeshadow i bought this when i was visiting in czech republic and i just wanted to try it out i just thought it might be interesting it's a very like satin like smooth kind of sheen it looks pretty nice i haven't used it yet so <laughs> i'm gonna keep that one around and also as a little keepsake here's the dazzle stick from kbd i was so skeptical about this and i really wish they had even more shades and i want to buy more of these shades because this stick is so so beautiful and it completely where's the subspace it completely dries down it kind of reminds me of the urban decay munda shadows but in a stick form and it dries down and like it sticks and it stays all day so definitely keeping that one and then i have this one lonely sydney grace liquid multi-chrome shadow in the shade alexandrite this is such a stunning shade but again i just this just falls back into my drawer and i forget about it i'm actually really surprised that it's not fully dried out actually kind of looks like my nails as well i've seen this kind of shade over and over again i'm not going to be keeping this one a few kind of random bits here and there. These are the Sugar Drizzle liquid liners. I'm not swatching them because this has been really annoying to try to wash off. And I actually got to name these three shades. So that was really fun. And I also did the eye swatches for these. And this is a really nice formula. These are really nice and pigmented and smooth. However, I just do not, like I said before, use any sort of kind of liner like this. So I'm going to be keeping these with like my keepsakey kind of makeup stash part. There's this one xx revolution multi comb kind of loose pigment here these were like pretty meh like not really that great so i'm going to declutter that one this is a melt gel liner i used to have quite a few of these and i've just kind of whittled it down to this one i'm going to keep this one because it's an interesting shade and these honestly like do not dry out and then here's a major throwback for you this is dawn eyes <laughs> this is from when they still had this do you see do you see this logo do you remember their website when they first came? oh my goodness oh and there's also this Fernay free sample shade so so in terms of the dawn eyes cosmetics i'm keeping these for nails only i'm not going to be like featuring these or anything like that including these in swatch comparisons i'm not really sure that the brand is open anymore so i'm gonna put these actually with the sugar drizzle liners and the top shop shades i'm going to keep these in my little makeup capsule and then i think i'm going to i don't know it looks really pretty but honestly Ooh, that looks actually really interesting. It's kind of like a green to it and like a purpley reddish base. So I'm going to keep this. Here are some ColourPop Jelly Mud shadows. I have Mystical, um, Mojave Moves. This is so, so sparkly and beautiful. I, I wish they made more of these. I do think that they're kind of getting dried out though, but I do think I can revive these. So I'm definitely keeping that one. I believe I have two of Mystical. Yes, I do. I have it in this form and then in the glass. I'm not really sure at what point they switched. But I do prefer the glass and I also have the panoramic so do we face gloss keeping that one I'm gonna keep this one and then declutter this shade because it's the same and I have the clear gloss and then fields of fairies Brentwood and shiny penny I think I'm gonna keep pretty much all of these so I'm gonna keep all these I think these were all said to be a PR maybe minus the face gloss the clear one next up I have these Sharma C highlighters and three multi-chrome eyeshadows i have so many things to say about this brand honestly i do want to do a whole video on this topic of these random brands just stealing content creators photos of videos and claiming them to be their own eyeshadow basically a few years ago i bought these off of aliexpress and i wanted to try them out for a video i was really curious to try these out as they were like not really expensive though i feel like they're not like definitely by any means the most affordable but they are definitely like a little bit on the less expensive side that being said afterwards at some point i noticed that on amazon as well as on aliexpress they started using one of my photos using dawn eyes cosmetics eyeshadow and labeling it as that's one of their eyeshadows and that's definitely not okay that is literally stealing and it's completely deceptive which i don't understand a ton of their own product photography model photography using their products though who knows maybe maybe they're actually not maybe they have somehow found them on a stock website and they like bought them out i don't know they seem pretty legit though 
So, and that's what I thought when I ordered these, that it was a pretty legit brand because they do have their own actual website. So with all of that being said, I am decluttering these. These just really make me very, very angry. So these have got to go. This is the M Cosmetics Cosmic Pearl Dewy Eyeshadow Luna. I don't know why it says dewy. I mean, it looks wet, but it doesn't look what I think of as dewy. This is super, super shiny. It is a little bit on the creamy side, so not the greatest wear time for me. But I am going to be keeping that one because it's just so pretty. I just need to look at it and swatch it sometimes. If you relate to what I just said, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> this is some single eyeshadow. I believe I bought this from Yes Style. This is Visse. And then it is GR4. It's like a little split pan. Oh my gosh, I can't open this. And it's pretty disappointing. It's very dry. I'm going to keep this just for, like, kind of keep as reference because I do want to do K Beauty single eyeshadow video. So I want to have those for that. And then I got these Ulta Beauty Bouncy Eyeshadows. And these are so sparkly. These are very, very much toppers, like extreme toppers. You cannot expect any sort of pigmentation off these. These are just. Oh! Flop. Can we get a replay of these? These are just, oh, I don't know. Can I like, can I just take this up? Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're going to save it. It's getting, oh yes. Okay, good. So anyways, all of that aside, it is so, so glitzy, sparkly, very much moon dust eyeshadow from Urban Decay kind of vibes, but at a fraction of the price and probably even more sheer, but very, very sparkly. And then this is the other shade called Sprinkle. Oh my gosh, please don't fall out of the pan. Like the other one, this one is just a little bit peachier. It's really hard to see. I feel like if you use a glitter primer, maybe you could kind of build these up a little bit more, but I don't think it's really meant for that. I definitely don't think that I needed both. I have this random flower chrome crush press pigment. This actually now looking at it reminds me of the newly launched uh, Chroma Lust shadows like this from Pat McGrath. I don't know if I can get my finger in there, but it is really nice and metallic for sure. A little bit more satin, like actually probably once you... I think I'm just going to declutter this one. And I have these three Metal Effect Colorful Sephora Single Eyeshadows. I bought a lot of these during a Sephora sale a couple years ago, and most of them came completely smashed. But some of these are really beautiful. Um, they're definitely a little bit on the creasy side, so I would be very, very light-handed, especially if you have hooded, oily lids. But if you have deep-set eyes, I think it'll be totally fun. You might really enjoy these. But these are fun, so I'm going to keep these around for a video in the future. Liquid Eyeshadow. Liquid Eyeshadow Galore. These are from Moira Cosmetics. These are the Space Chameleon. Uh, multi-chrome eyeshadows. These were sent to me and I did uh, some paid content with these for them and these are really really beautiful, really shiny, really sparkly. They do take a little bit to dry down but they do dry down completely and they're super 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 sparkly and shifty and beautiful so I'm definitely keeping these. Here are some Ensley Rain liquid multi-chrome eyeshadows. I was sent these as well as these loose pigments in Syrian Ethereal and Crystal Bobble. I do have video, I believe, featuring all these if you want to see these swatched. I'm definitely keeping these. I do have at least like 10 more of these, but they're in my bin of to film with for a reel or something. So they're not in here, but I'm definitely keeping all of these. This is the cream and powder eye color from Tom Ford. And basically it's like a little cream here and then like a topper, a like shadow at the top. I've actually used this quite a bit, but I haven't as a recent. And I honestly feel like this bottom part is probably dried out. I wonder if I can somehow, I mean, I could just kind of keep it without this if I clean this section. So, wait. Oh my gosh, look at that. Well, that's that's a fun, happy little accident. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to be decluttering this part. And I'm going to be keeping this beautiful topper shade. These are all my twin flame liquid eyeshadows from Dennis M. Eriks, and I do not like these. Like, I do not like these. They're kind of like very emollient and liquidy, and while, yes, you get you do get a little bit of move around on your lid kind of time before these dry down, I just, I'm not a fan at all. Like, these just crease on me no matter what. So I'm only gonna keep this shade, the iridescent shade, because I actually think I have one more. I don't know where that would be, but I thought I had at least one or two more of these shades. But I can use this as like the inner corner highlight or like a face highlighter. I might actually put this with my highlighters, but I am going to be decluttering the rest of these. They have a couple of different formulas. So they have these black based shades that are a little bit less metallic and less shiny for sure. And then they did at some point kind of launch some of these other shades that were basically a bit more kind of sparkly. This shade actually looks like one of the shades. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. But yeah, I'm not keeping these. I can't. Nope, no more. Nope. 
more liquid multi-chrome eyeshadows. Here is a mixture of Shall We Makeup and Bella Beauté Bar. Some of these Bella Beauté Bar ones were like Euphoria themes. So I don't think that they have these anymore. These are super fun, but it's not really something I just reach for just because it's Euphoria theme. This one does have a little bit of hollow effect in it, but not really like anything too intense. So I'm definitely getting rid of those. Even though this shade is really, really pretty. I think I actually featured this one in a reel. <gasps> that one is so pretty. Okay, I might keep this one around just a little bit longer. Just that one, we'll see. And then this one, oh, okay, this one's also really pretty. If it's iridescent, like, I mean, I just have a really hard time getting rid of it. Okay, this one's a little bit darker than I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And then these are the, and then, and there is one more shade. Of course, it's an iridescent blue and it's beautiful. Okay, this one. And it's really beautiful, but it is a little bit dry. So, and then these are the Shell We shades, and these are also pretty nice, but again, I just don't reach for these. These were sent to me. That is so pretty. That is really, really pretty. But I just, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I really, I don't have the space for all of these liquid shades, especially because I really just, I forget to use them for really no other reason. Oh, that one. Okay, that one. Okay, I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna keep this one. Listen, I don't wanna hear it. Here's this blue iridescent purpley kind of shade. Oh, that one is pretty too. Do I wanna keep that one? If it's if it's bluish purple, oh yeah. Okay, I just saw it in this lighting over here and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna keep this one. And then this purple one, oh, that's also really pretty. I don't know, I don't, I don't think so. I think two is good, two is good. I swear this video is never ending. These are all my Sugar Drizzle Liquid Multichromes. I believe all of these were sent to me in PR. These are really, really beautiful. I love them. They have a couple of different formulas. Again, some of them are a little bit more smoother, a little bit less shiny, a little bit less metallic. Some of them are really, really sparkly, but almost a little bit flaky. I'm definitely getting rid of the Black Base Darker Shades because I just, I'm not going to use them. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's interesting. It's actually not really like too Black Based. No, 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 I'm not keeping that one. And then it's really going to be hard between some of these other shades because I just love me some iridescent. So um, let me just swatch these and make sure that they're not dry. And if they're not, oh yeah, that one is still definitely fine. I'm gonna be keeping these to just layer, use as highlighter, etc., etc. Oh, that one is pretty. This one right here. This one right. Here. This one. This one right here. So far, keeping this is Grape Ghost. This looks almost kind of like kind of like the UV shade from Cleona Cosmetics, but in a liquid form. So these are still really good. And I've had these for oh my gosh, a couple of years at least now. Oh yeah, that one is still good. This one's a little bit liquidy though. I would be a little bit concerned about that one. I did do a video at some point where I dedicated to this. Oh, that one's still great. Definitely keeping. And then this one looks so beautiful. I'm gonna keep that one as well. This one is so interesting. I actually don't remember this shade. That one is really, really beautiful too. Oh my goodness, it's a little bit darker though. I think I'm gonna keep that one. And then this is one of the shades that came out. I think this one was one of the more like recent shades. And this one was okay. It was very, very satin-like. So I'm going to be decluttering that one. This yellow lemon pop looks so pretty. I'm honestly running out of space here. Oh, that is pretty, but it's not very shiny, so I'm going to declutter that one. Honestly, I think, uh, I feel like this one's not really that shifty. But look at that pigmentation. I mean, they're still really, really good. So I'm going to declutter that one, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, the green. I mean, I love, love green. Oh, this one, this one's a little bit dry. Definitely decluttering that one for sure. And then here is a pinky shade. I'm just apparently swatching all of them. This one's a little bit dry too. So I'm gonna declutter this one. And then Plum Fairy. I think it's probably because some of these are older than others. Oh, that one is so stunning. Okay, I'm keeping that one. And then there's another yellow. I think I'm gonna keep all of these. And then I'm just gonna swatch this one and just kind of see what this one looks like. Oh, that one's stunning, I'm keeping. That one's actually like more amped up version of the other yellow shade that I swatched. I'm definitely keeping this one. All right, here is pretty much the rest of it. So I'm gonna try to go through this pretty quickly. I'm keeping all of this, I think. This is the Gimme Glow movie star over the top loose micro glitter i think i'm gonna keep this though i've had it for like a year and i haven't used it but i do want to maybe do like a hollow lip or something so i'm gonna keep that one this is the about face loose glitter out of body it's really not glitter it's actually really shiny sparkly beautiful loose pigment it's quite a bit of product i'm gonna keep that one around and then the dennis Myers color fix glaze this is for kind of editorial kind of looks i'm keeping that this is a loose pigment from Gloss Gloss. This is the shade Stormy. Super sparkly, really, really beautiful. Definitely keeping. And then I have this. This is from P. Louise. This is 
pre-sale this is when they were just coming out and then one of their first things they came out with was these beautiful loose pigments so i'm going to keep that one around and just keep it in that like little vault of like throwbacks of makeup and then i have all these color fixes from oh my god i can feel these drying down so all these color fixes from Nevisa Myricks, I'm keeping these around. These are just fun to have. I have a couple of metallic shades. This one is one of their newest shades. It was part of the kind of little set for the holiday this year. What is the matching shade? I can't, I don't know what the match, is this the magic shade? No. There was a matching flaky with this that I can't find right now. But I'm keeping that one. I'm keeping this one. I'm just going to keep all of these because they're fun to have for fun creative looks. I also have this nude shade, which I have tried as an eyeshadow primer. And honestly, not really that great for that. Then I have these Shall We Makeup Flakies. These are good formula, but not quite as great as the Vanessa Myrick. So I'm going to be decluttering these. And then as for all these chrome flakes from Vanessa Myrick, I'm going to be keeping all of these. I love these. That's why I have all of them. I do have a dedicated video where I swatch these, including swatching them on a black base. So definitely check that video out if you're interested in these. So I also have these other single eyeshadows slash like they're in little compacts, etc. I have all the Mudas shadows as well. And I do plan on doing a video with these. So I'm not going to be decluttering these because these are kind of to come so here's just like a sneak peek I got sent these Carisha Cosmetics uh, loose pigments these are so stunning I actually ended up buying more <laughs> during their Black Friday sale because they were half off these are just the most beautiful sparkliest uh, kind of eyeshadows they do also have a glitter primer that um, you can get with them to use with these so let me know if you would like to see a video on those otherwise I'm just going to be featuring it mostly on my Instagram and then I have a bunch of super shock shadows which I declutter them like a few years ago and then I was like you know what they have some really nice one and done kind of shadows and they were having a little bit of a sale so I just kind of went and I bought like all the neutrally ones so I do want to do a video just watching all of them talking about them etc and I do also have all the new chroma Lux artistry pigments so these are basically in a little jar apparently they already launched something like this before with a star wars collection i completely just like locked that out of my mind because i do not remember that but i wish they came out with like multi-chromes like this i kind of thought these were going to be loose pigments but so i might do a video on these let me know in the comments below and then these are all the muda shadows i do also have the new shades in here as well so there's just so much content to come so definitely don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in some of these beautiful shiny sparkly shifty eyeshadows there's so here's all the stuff i decluttered i definitely feel like this was quite a bit more of a cleanse than I thought I was going to be even though I knew I was going to be getting rid of a lot of these liquid multi-chromes especially for no reason other than one I don't have room for it and two I just don't really reach for them so I really want to only keep the ones that I think I'm more likely to reach for I definitely need to set out some on my desk so I remember to use them because I do really enjoy using them I think there's definitely something about using a liquid shadow that is just different same with loose pigments as well so it's everything for this declutter video stay tuned for the single eyeshadow declutter as well as my eyeshadow palette declutter coming soon within the next couple of weeks make sure you're subscribed your notifications on and if you enjoyed the video and you found it entertaining definitely don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching I hope to see you next time